what really worried me beforehand, before I even knew I had cataracts and might need the surgery, I was starting to get worried because you hear of all these old people, and I'm 74, uh, all these old people like me <laughs> that uh, back off from night driving. Well, it started bothering me when I would be on a road that didn't have bright white borderline on the highway and yellow line in the middle, and it was raining. And the, the, the road was shiny with water, and, that's, and then we, when you meet headlights, it caused a lot of glare, and I started feeling insecure. And I was worried because I knew just changing my contact prescription was not going to make that go away. And it hadn't dawned on me that the cataracts really were what was causing. At my church, I have probably a dozen friends that had used Dr. Patel for cataracts. Very good reference. They had done well. So I said, I'll, I'll go to Dr. Patel. I have been wearing Monovision contacts for many years, which for people who don't realize what they are, you see up close with your eye, left eye, me, my case, the left eye, and you see distance with the right eye, and the brain adjusts in between. I was worried that I would lose that, that I get cataract surgery, go back to my normal eyes, not be able to have the reading up close of distant vision. Dr. Patel explained to me that he could put in what they call toric lenses, it's a little extra cost, but toric lenses that do exactly the same thing. That I read with my left eye, I see far off with the right eye, and the brain adjusts in between. So uh, it's, I, I was really happy to hear that that was possible. And they also can correct astigmatism, which I've had for a long time, uh, with those same lenses. I envision surgeries, you get all undressed, you get that wonderful back open gown, and uh, try to hold it together as you walk around. Well, in this case, you didn't have to do that. They, they put heart monitors on you, things like that, but that same chair, you never leave it. It converts into a surgery or a surgical table when they carry you in there. It manipulates and you are lay, lying flat with your head in the position they need you. and. You go through the surgery, you come back to the same, to the post-op, and when you're feeling like it, which is just about immediately, they raise it back up to a chair. But if I had a problem, needed to, needed to cough or sneeze or something like that, just to, to raise my hand. Uh, and, uh, all in, and so I felt everything was under control. I received a phone call that night from him asking how things were going that night, the night after each surgery. And uh, that's impressive. Of course, you go home with a patch over your eye. Now, it's not a total blacked out patch. There, it is a, really they call it an eye shield. And it has holes in it, kind of like a screen wire. And you can still see through it. I got home and that night, I like to watch the Atlanta Braves. And I could look through that left eye at my TV and I, I closed the right eye and their uniforms were bright. I closed the left eye, they were ivory colored. It just amazed me that I had been looking at a dull tan or ivory color all the time. And I didn't know it. The most um, taxing thing is to be faithful to put your eye drops in as they ask you to put them in. And they don't just say, now you do this three times a day or six times a day or something, you have a sheet. And it's a checkoff, a column of checkoff blocks, but under each medication and when you're to do it. And if you will look at it and check off as you're supposed to, put the drops in, it's very organized, it's not pressure, it's not, oh goodness, did he say three times or four times, you know. My wife is uh, kind of 
kind of jealous of me sometimes. Shortly after the surgery, we would be driving down the road, maybe in strange territory, and be looking for a street. And uh, she got kind of uh, to where she didn't try to help me because she doesn't have as good an eyesight as I do now. And I'd say, I, I see it way down yonder, that so-and-so street, you know. I, and can you really read that? And I said, yes. <laughs> Some people say they see colors better. I, I do see colors better, but I see detail better. I look out at the trees, and where it was a mass of green, I see individual leaves. And that's just great. It's totally great. <laughs>